You know, we've had a, we've never had a bull market last this long, Neil, without a 20% pullback. And for some perspective on those of us, for those of us who weren't born, uh, as we sit here on day 3,453, we thought maybe it would be helpful to rewind, go all the way back to day one. March the 9th of 2009, S&P 500 index put in an ominous intraday low. It was 666. And some market observers then were predicting more declines. You'll remember that the financial crisis of the year before had wiped out the likes of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers, not to mention the savings of so many Americans. Now, we didn't know it, but the low for the market had actually been established on that day. And then later that month, something of a turning point. The Dow Jones Industrial Average shot up nearly 500 points in a single day as President Obama's Treasury Secretary, Tim Geithner, unveiled his latest bailout plan. It was a public-private partnership to relieve banks of toxic assets. Now, the bull run was just getting started, helped along by a Federal Reserve that kept interest rates extraordinarily low, pumped as much money into the system as possible. The S&P, between then and now, it's gained about 324 percent. Some of the most impressive individual gains have been reserved for our great American technology companies. Take a look at Apple. If you bought Apple at the low, your gain would be more than 1,700 percent. It's not just tech, though. Three other Dow names have posted 1,000 percent advances, United Health, Visa, and Boeing. Along the way, certainly some bumps, just none that have equaled 20 percent. You'll remember the summer of 2011. On Friday, August 5th of that year, United States stripped of its AAA credit rating. The following Monday, the Dow fell 635 points. And even the election of Donald Trump as president, November of 2016, that was initially greeted in negative fashion. The stock index futures tanked on election night. The stocks quickly recovered. The new president's policies, lower taxes and fewer regulations became more apparent. Overall, the up days have overshadowed the down this past decade. The market rallied more than 4 percent November 30th, 2011, thanks to positive economic news and word of more help to come from central banks. Another 4 percent March on August 26, 2015, Fed speak that maybe an interest rate hike wasn't such a great idea. Then 3 percent March 26 of this year, as we learned the U.S. and China were at least talking about avoiding a trade war. So. Here we are, nearly a decade in, and while no one knows how long this bull market will last, Neil, it has outlasted all the others. And along the way, it's added more than $27 trillion in paper wealth. Amazing stuff. Back to you. All right. Thank you very, very much. Connell McShane here.